So we'll continue to follow that story. Thank you. Meantime, a man is calling for an investigation into this incident that happened in Osceola County. As you can see, flames erupted at a gas station while deputies attempted to take a motorcyclist into custody. Fox 35's Amanda McKenzie live at Orange County for us this morning where this happened. Amanda, an attorney for the motorcyclist says his client suffered severe burns from this fire. And the man's attorney says that it was the deputy's taser that ignited the fire, burning more than 75% of his body. Now, you can take a look at this surveillance video from the Wawa in February. On an Osceola County deputy tackled John Beretta to the ground. Seconds later, flames erupt near the gas pump. Osceola County deputies say this all started when Beretta was pointing guns at cars. But his attorney says that's not true. They say the 26-year-old was at a nonviolent motorcycle gathering and stopped to get gas in Orange County while on his way home. Beretta's attorneys say their client was filling his motorcycle's gas tank, but when he was tackled, the bike fell too, spilling fuel. Beretta's attorneys say a deputy then deployed the taser, which sparked the gasoline. A witness described the scene back when it happened in February. They get to the car, telling the guy, they was like, uh, get on the ground, get on the ground. And they harassing the guy down. You know, we heard the taser going off. The tail is going off, and all of a sudden, you just see a big flame just go into the air. Now, the fire engulfed Beretta and injured three deputies. Beretta's attorneys say he has been in the hospital for the past 10 weeks, missing most of his skin. This picture shows him in the hospital recovering from those third degree burns. Now, Beretta's attorneys say they want the Florida Department of Law Enforcement to take over the investigation. The attorneys are holding a news conference this afternoon. We reached out to the sheriff for a comment, but so far have not yet heard back. Reporting live in Osceola County, Amanda McKenzie, Fox 35 News.